boxing gives so many people so many uh, things to look forward to, fight for, to fight. It's life. We have bad days, we gotta fight. We have great days, and they're not always gonna be great. So we know that balance in between, and that's the fight game. It's life, and, and that's why I love it. Jesse James Leha, the two time world champion, sets the bar for the ultimate combo mental and physical health through boxing workouts. When I retired from boxing in 2005, I said, okay, what am I gonna do next? I didn't do anything for a year, but play golf. And then I said, okay, I gotta start doing something. I said, what can I do? Uh, I wanna do something to honor my sport. I wanna do something to honor the city of San Antonio. And I said, what should I do? I said, let me give them what boxing gave me and give to the average person. And so I opened up a boxing gym, not knowing it was gonna work, because there wasn't, there wasn't any boxing gyms in town. Oh, it worked out all right. Leha opened his first gym in 2006 off Broadway, then moved to a new location during the pandemic in 2020. People appreciate what the sport does for them. I got people, so many people that drop 50 pounds, 70 pounds, 100 pounds, 150 pounds. I got so many people doing that. The sport is empowering all walks of life. From the stay-at-home mom and dad to the number one draft pick and the newest San Antonio Spur, Victor Wimbanyama. He picked up boxing like that. It's like almost scary. And the only other person I saw pick it up that fast was Manu Ginobili. We work for the Spurs. We go in there, we train the Spurs. We've been doing it now for 19 years. There's a strong connection with the community here in the gym. But what's vividly clear is the bond between Leha and his sons. It's us three, you know, me, my brother, and my dad. And um, I know it's not like that. It's not common. So for us to be able to, to, to wake up every morning and, and say, hey, I'll see you in the morning, you know, uh, bring me some food, bring me some coffee. It's a, it's a very special feeling that we have and a, and a really close bond. I think seeing the work ethic at a young age has done a lot for me in high school and in college, kind of giving me that background of hard work equals success. One could say boxing runs in their blood, but let's go back to the first round where it all started. My dad was a professional boxer in the 50s and early 60s, uh, but you know when we were young, he would never let us box. He would teach us how to box, but didn't want us to box because of the sport being tough and brutal and and the whole bit. But when I was uh, 18 years old, I kind of got in trouble, and uh, I was ashamed of what I did. And so what I said was, I'm going to get myself in the best shape possible. I'm going to get into boxing, and I wanted to become a firefighter or a police officer. I was gonna do something. And so I went to the gym. Two and a half years later, I'm in the Olympic trials. And I tried boxing, and 17 years later, I retired. Dad was a man of very few words. He didn't say a lot, but I just saw it in his eyes. I saw it in his tears. I saw it in his embraces. Like, wow, he was like, and, and um, just, and, you know, I, it was just good. Yeah, yeah. And when he passed, when he passed away, I was holding his hand and he said, he looked at me like, thank you for the life that I gave him as well. We traveled the world together. We traveled the world together and uh, he, was my, he was with me every step of the way, every punch, every fight, and he was with me. He was my trainer. Uh, we had other trainers, but he was my main trainer and my, the main person. And when he, whatever he said was gold. I just loved it. And, uh, you know, I honor him every day. And we have his picture here. Every Every day I get to see him. The power of a strong family packs a fierce punch, and that's what Jesse has in his corner. My wife and I met, we started dating the first day of eighth grade. Yeah, I wouldn't be where I'm at now if it wasn't for her backing me up, supporting me. We all need support. She supported me, you know, a thousand percent. And now, time to pass the torch. We've inherited a name, right? We've inherited a big responsibility to take it to the next level. And that's what we're trying to do personally. Again, it's a two-way street. Looking back at it, he provided the foundation to like that launching pad for us to really go into this next level where we want to take it. For SA Live. Seeing the people's success here at the gym, oh, those are my wins now. I'm Jen Tobias-Streski.